Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, The King of How To. In today's video, I am going to show you how to create a stand for your Keurig uh, when you run into an issue like I did where my travel mug is not going to fit uh, under the machine. Even if I take the tray off, I am still hitting um, the Keurig. So we're going to build a small base probably about a half an inch uh, in height that's gonna fit nicely under the Keurig and with that we'll be able to still put the tray in because the base that we're gonna make is gonna support uh, the bottom of the tray so we're going to have a small indentation in it that we can slide the mug in there uh, to accommodate the height Step one in our video will be to actually trace the Keurig size onto a piece of paper or a piece of cardboard uh, or a folder like I have in my in this case. Because when we actually cut this out of MDF, we want to make sure that it fits uh, nicely under the Keurig without sticking out too much. Okay, we'll put the tray back because we want to trace the tray as well when we are going to build the base. Second step is to actually cut out our template, uh, making sure we cut as nicely around the lines as possible to ensure that we get the base uh, not sticking out in any part. Um, afterwards. As you see here, after I drew my circle around the cup here, uh, I had to extend these pieces here uh, so the mug can slide in instead of getting put in. Uh, to, to the opening because it was still hitting the Keurig. So when you do make your template, make sure that you cut it out all the way through so the mug can slide in uh, into the Keurig. As you now see, we have our general shape cut out. There's a couple spots I still have to clean up on the edges. But when you try to do this, try to get rid of that line that you drew uh, as a template to make sure it doesn't stick out past the base of the Keurig. Once we are at the point that we are happy with our general shape, uh, obviously, we're going to sand these edges uh, to make them nice and smooth without any um, bumps or anything like that. Um, next, we're cutting or we're going to drill a hole um, or several holes around the opening where the mug will go. So, I used as big of a drill bit as I thought would be necessary for this. So we're going to drill holes all the way around and then we're going to use the jigsaw again uh, to finish that hole and then we'll have to do some sanding. For the main portion of my base I am going to use uh, 150 grit sandpaper on a palm sander um, so I don't have to do any manual sanding. Um,
As you see here, I'm doing a dry run to make sure that the Keurig and the base uh, fit nicely uh, on top. I see a couple spots where I have to do some touch-ups as well as a little flaw um, with putting the mug in. It's still too tall um, to actually get it inside if I'm trying to put it right into the hole. So my solution is to extend my circle and cut it straight so I can just slide the mug in into its spot. And I am back with making my modification to the entry point for my mug. I am going to double check the fitting once again. Okay, the Keurig line is not lines up nice with all the curves that I put in the wood. Now I can sl slide my mug uh, nice and easily, lines up very nicely. And if I remove my mug and still want to use it as, as it's meant to be, it sits nice and it's supported. For my next step, as discussed earlier, we're going to paint this black. I am using a uh, black uh, gel stain uh, because it has a really good coverage. Um, it doesn't matter what you use, you can just paint it um, regular paint and then cover it with a clear coat like I'm going to here because it is under the Keurig and it might be exposed to water. I'm going to clear coat the top and the bottom and all the sides, but I am only going to paint it black on the top and the sides. After the one coat of the black gel wax, I waited 24 hours, almost 24 hours for it to dry. And then I put my clear coat on it. I did the top as well as the bottom. Um, just because when it's sitting there, if any water tries to get under, uh, it will be nice and sealed all the way throughout. My next step is I'm going to put some bumpers on it, these rubber bumpers, just so when it's sitting on my counter, it is lifted a little bit higher. So I'm going to put a few of them around. That should be good enough. As you see here, the base looks great. Uh, fits nice and snug. The bumpers prevent it from sliding. If I still want to use the tray with my regular mugs, it has a lot of support that it's not going to go anywhere. But when I try to fit the mug, it doesn't fit. So quickly, I can just remove the tray, put my mug in, fill in the coffee, and then put it back and it looks very nice.